Uh, word of mouth. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I have any good things to say about word of mouth? It has existed since time immemorial. It's always been there. Uh, now there are tools like nobody ever imagined to, mm -hmm. to, to capture it, harness it, cultivate it, make it work, not only to repair and restore reputations or to burnish them, but also to fundamentally get an understanding about your products and services. Mm -hmm. And it will affect every aspect of people's business, not just, uh, you know, reputation. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what's good for the word of mouth industry is, at the moment, the exodus of dollars from just from uh, standard, the old media paradigm, is just beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, and and you know, big leading national advertisers are desperate to reach consumers. When the, when the new media world shakes out to be whatever it mm -hmm. is going to be, word of mouth the marketing will already be pretty firmly established. Mm -hmm. And of course, it dovetails so nicely with all of the mm -hmm. tools that the internet provides. And uh, you know, I think this industry has the tiger by its tail. So why aren't there more uh, more ad agencies here? Ad agencies aren't here because uh, it's it's uh, this is the Antichrist as far as they're concerned. Mm -hmm. They're still in denial and to a very large degree. They're just beginning to figure out that the internet is a is going to be the lingua franca for all consumer communication. Uh, uh, they still live in a world of 30-second TV commercials and double truck magazine spreads, mm -hmm. and uh, they, you know, they just don't think it's advertising. You know, they think it's uh, a gimmick. Well, that's they're, they're, either they will come around to the right way of thinking, or they're going to disappear. And a lot of them are going to disappear mm -hmm. uh, because their job is not to. I mean, they don't realize this, but their job is not to make ads. Their job is to connect their clients with consumers mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately that mm -hmm. just isn't sinking in as widely as it mm -hmm. should. I believe in Woma. I think Woma, well, here's what I most like about Woma, mm -hmm. it's, it's very important. Right out in the middle of absolutely everything they do is this ethical standard of anti-stealth and there's some people in this business in its, in its infancy who are making a lot of money, very successful being sleazy mm -hmm. and uh, uh, misidentifying themselves, not identifying themselves, camouflaging uh, it, uh, their their uh, client relationships while trying to seed public opinion mm -hmm. is not the way to behave. It, Woma understands that, uh, unlike most trade groups which reflexively defend the largest practitioners of their of, of their uh, industry, this this organization is making it very clear that it wants to separate itself from all of those bad actors. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, good for them. I think that's a good way to start. And it's very forward thinking and it's ethical and, uh, uh, you know, right on the verge of being unique. Yeah, I mean, when the FTC says, I like what you have to say, you keep at it and, and we'll leave your industry alone, that's very important. Because, you know, they have shown that historically the government has shown a tendency to let industries self-regulate mm -hmm. if they can be trusted to do so. So, uh, if for no other reasons than practical ones, to keep the government out of your face, mm -hmm. uh, the, the WOMA Code of Ethics is a really good place to begin, end, and do everything else. Does that help? That helps. That's All great. Right. Thank Thanks again. Much.